this is our metabolomics research lab. In this lab, we developed within the Netherlands Metabolomics Center technologies to measure hundreds and thousands of metabolites, many of them very relevant for vascular disease, not targeting biochemical pathways like oxidative and nitrosative stress. But we also want to measure the minor amounts of sample which we get from the organ on the chips where we have only thousands of cells. So therefore we developed new methods and technology. Metabolites are, many of them are ionic. So we use electrodriven techniques like capillary electrophoresis. We developed a new technique, depleted zone isotachophoresis. We also have nano LCMS methods, but we also developed a hanging droplet evaporator, which you can actually see here. And this system is suitable for neutral and ionic metabolites by feeding a liquid stream into the evaporator and evaporate the solvent so that, for example, 50 to 100 microliter of volume is transferred into 500 nanoliter, which we can then further manipulate in our system, which we developed. Here you see one of our nano LCMS systems. Here we develop methods to analyze small amount of samples by doing the separation on this chip, which can be implemented into the system. We do that in collaboration with Agilent. And for example, what we developed is a method to measure a few hundreds of endothelial cells and to measure the biogenic amines. And here you see the mass spectrum of one of the amines in these endothelial cells after a perturbation. Here you see a chip where we have realized depleted zone isotachophoresis. The principle is as follows. We apply here voltages to trap the ionic metabolites at the intersection with a nano channel. And by changing then the field, we can release the ionic metabolites one by one to further pretreatment or detection by a spectrometric detector or a mass spectrometer. And here you see let's say the holder for the bioanalyzer from Ageland where we implemented this type of chips.